bought my new car. This is it? Derek yeah. loves it. He loves the van. So I traded in my 750, uh -huh. <laughs> and I decided that I'm gonna just drive this from now on. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen it, I'm spoiling it for the people who haven't. DJ just bought himself a new little toy. Check out his video, he dropped it. I hope he's, I hope he already dropped it. DJ, you're dropping this before 12.30? She dropped, she's out. Oh, she's out. She's DJ No Way, link in the description. Go tell DJ how much you love his new car. The van. Oh, dude, they aren't ready for that. I am so hyped on this. This thing is actually really cool. I'm gonna leave the details for his video, so go check it out if you wanna know what the heck is going on here. Could but it's awesome. Get out, Sammy. I'm moving out. <laughs> Moving out, see you never. All right, well, what is up everyone? It is Sunday down here, and I finally have some time to, well, throw the Supra on the dyno. I've been dying to see how much power this actually makes. We took it out on the unknown tune, and the thing raged. I don't know how fast it was. I honestly have no idea how fast it is. I'm really hoping it's under 600 out of pure, just like, sake of the car internals, but it felt really fast, and I have honestly no idea. So we're gonna throw it on and see how much it actually makes. Oh, well, you're really digging into this thing. Bro, I'm telling you, that's my new ride, dude. So if you guys don't know about this car, we got a 2J. And honestly, I don't know much about it. The two previous owners I talked to, and they both don't seem to know much about it. What we have here is a 2JZ non-VVTi with a 6766 turbo on it, or 6667. It's got an RMR intake, it's got supporting injectors, the AM V2. I was told it has a completely built head by Real Street, like all HKS everything. We could see that it has HKS timing gears. And it definitely sounds like it has HKS cams. As far as the bottom end goes, I was told by the previous owner it was built. I was told by two owners ago that it wasn't built, and I know the motor was never pulled in between, so I don't know what to expect. What do you think? On this? Yeah. Based off of literally zero information. Yep. Other than looking at it visually, right? I think it's gonna make 580 the wheel. That's a good guess. I know, I'm good at this. You are. You do, you do this. This is what I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. I mean, it's a non VTI motor, which is proven to be a very, very stout bottom end. So 600 on that is definitely plausible. I was told it made 750 at one point, but it was on 110 in nitrous. Now it's on pump gas, and I don't know if the previous owner ever detuned it when it wasn't on 110, which is not good. So, I mean, it's been running healthy ever since, and this thing has been beaten on, so I don't know. It's been working. Look how bad this car is. I'm excited for the that's, a, that's a day. That's not even bad. <laughs> I wouldn't be worried about that. How it goes, the oil looks like, like a little bit of oil on the ground looks like a... Like a You're right, I always do say that, but it's, wow, it's... that's a lot of oil. Yeah, it's probably like two capfuls of oil. For... Uh, whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There we go. It's either got rowdy cams or a shitty tune. <laughs> So the Supra is on the dyno and it looks it looks like it's in its natural habitat. Yeah, I Sick. mean, this is usually where you see Supras, right a, right before they explode. Uh, yeah. Big, big right health checkup, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right so, before the rod. Nope, nope, so it's a 67, or 66, 67, makes 22 pounds of boost, I think. Pump gas, AMV tune, mystery tune, haven't plugged into it yet. Love that. Love that, Love right? that. So, uh, who wants to uh, bet on how much power it makes? How much we throw in $20 buy-in. What about $100 buy-in? Oh, Sammy, oh, do you know something that we don't know? Sammy's disqualified. No way. So off the trailer hit, 618. Sammy? 523. I'm gonna say an even 600. Derek? 578. I'm going 559. 585. Grubby? 632. Okay. Explain to me. If you go over it... No, we're not playing prices right. We're just doing whoever's closest. No, this is right. No, we're not. We're not. Yes, we are. It's my, it's my house, my rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Differently. Nope. Too bad. That's that pretty bad. Oh I don't my really God. enjoy any of you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? 572. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you and Ann. You guys hear me say 580 10 minutes ago. You're 572. He's 585. Are you kidding me? Derek, we learned from you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see you. I appreciate you. Both, All right, write it down. Really fucking me right now. Wait, so are we doing prices right or no? No, change your well, guess then. Closest wins. All right, we're locked in, boys. Not uh, 650. 
There it is. Oh, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, okay. Well, let's get this thing rolling and see what it makes. I know nothing. Bad one. You're a bad liar. <laughs> yeah! Can't find him, grind him, baby! Negative. That made a lot of power. Holy, that's yeah. terrifying. That's oh, that's sick. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's cool as hell. That is the most non-BBTI Supra power curve I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, you better put a lot of on that dog. Bad. Because that thing's got to have a bunch of timing or a lot of boost. Oh, yeah. It's probably full. Probably full. <laughs> well, that's cool. Freaking grubby one. All right, everybody get your Venmos you out. I popped my tire. Pull it off. Pull it off. Pull it off, Pull it off now. Pull it off now. All right, we need a rerun. Oh man. Pull it off now. What are you gonna do less than that? Oh, it's literally leaking right yeah. now. Pull it off. Undo the straps. Oh man. Hurry up before it's flat. Yeah. Damn it. I didn't even get the hook the laptop. <laughs> get it off before I get stuck in the dyno. Let's plug a laptop in and see what this tune is about. Yeah. You're buying us lunch. Lunch on Grubby? Yep. All the Venmos. <laughs> Pays right. to be positive, right people. <laughs> what do you have to say, Jesse? Yeah, dude. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> so let's check this thing out. 687 horsepower. And it revved to basically eight grand, which is insane. So this is the most super power curve ever, right? It's just kind of doggy down low. And once that turbo starts spooling, it just takes off. What's kind of cool is the torque is staying down. And this is probably what's keeping the engine alive. The fact that we only made... 600 foot pounds of torque. I mean, it's a lot of torque, but it's not like it's making 700 foot pounds of torque. So. so let's just rephrase that. I have no idea how much boost it just hit. Probably should have looked. The AFRs weren't sketchy, sketchy. It's a built top end. I have no idea about the bottom ends. These things are known to make like 800 on stock bottom ends, aren't they? Yeah, 800's not, not tough to do. Yeah, but on pump gas though, it's like probably Cumberland Farms gas. It's scary. See. Oh, wow. It takes a second. We yeah, it's V2. Go. This thing was made in 2001. Device manager. There we go. Oh, oh, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, that's not bad. That's actually pretty. That's pretty conservative. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. That's what I would have put in it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, it's, it's the tune doesn't look super aggressive, which is I mean it looks like a pump gas tune. Look at the fuel map. Interesting. 2.7. 2.7, the whole thing. Just put it at 2.7. <laughs> it worked, I guess. Yeah, things are champ, dude. Yeah. Well, I don't know who tuned this thing last, but not bad. Not bad. Not, not bad. bad. That's good news. Because yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I've got some videos sent to me from the pre, like, of the previous owners, and I'll tell you what, they enjoyed this car to the fullest. I mean, it's still alive, so it's, you can't be mad. That's at what it. I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not mad about it. I'm just like, damn, mm -hmm. nice work, Supra. All right, so I'm gonna go take the back wheel off on the car, and of course, a fun surprise happened. Uh, one of the lug nuts is actually completely stripped out. <laughs> Do you see it? Oh yeah, that is actually a lug nut. As you can tell, I'm a little out of breath because I've been trying to get it off for a while now. So it looks like I'm gonna probably have to drill that stud out, which is going to take a while, which kind of sucks. I was hoping to go do a pull in it today, but whatever. So we'll have a short video. I'd love to go home on a Sunday nice and early. So, um, so the big question now is what do we do with this car for the rest of the season? Because right, right now it's well, August. We kind of have, what, three more months left of car weather. If I take the car apart now, three months isn't a lot of time in the car building world, especially when you're going to try and do something to this caliper. If I take it apart now, I'll probably finish it up in the winter and then I have to sit on it for six months. That's no fun. So I would love to kind of like keep the car together in the meantime and just kind of enjoy it for at least a month or so. The problem is everything in this car, the Supra, as you guys know, everything that comes in or around a Supra is just so overpriced. I have everything now and it all works. So if I take it apart now, I just have to do refurbing. I don't really have to buy anything crazy crazy right the smart thing to do would just be take it apart now uh get the frame straightened because this rail isn't perfect uh get the bay painted redo the engine take all the you know the whole special so it's hammering it runs healthy 
It sounds great, but the car does need some love. What do you think? What should we do? I want a wrench on it, but I also would love to drive a Mark IV yeah. Super around this summer. And enjoy it. And enjoy it, because I never really get to do that, so. Donnie, what do you think? Talk to me. Talk to you, I'll talk to you. Do we take the Super apart and just start attacking the build, or do No, I... no, no, no. Let me out of the car. <laughs> I'm scared to cause any problems because I'm trying to band-aid something, you know? You just want to be sure of it. Yeah, so everything in there is so damn expensive, it. so I don't want to, like... Yeah, if it's not happening with that, that would hurt. But... Yes, so part of me tell, wants to tell you, yes, do it, but then I want you to, like, enjoy the car. Because once you take it apart, oh, you're going to do a lot to it. It's yeah. going to take time. It's going to take time. What do you want to do? You want to rip it apart, of course you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <I don't, laughs> you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's absolutely driving me crazy. Let me let me know. Let me know what you guys think. It, it means a lot. Obviously, super building content's always sick. Super driving content. Uh, I don't know if I want to risk it. So, I don't know. Am I, let me know. Yeah, let, let me let me know what you guys think because it, it means a lot. Do you guys want to see me start getting getting in on this thing? I'd love to start tearing into the two J and everything, but. I don't know, I'm going crazy, but. I'm taking a moment because I want to see what it looks like with a serb on it. We could get the other side off, so. Hopefully. I would, yeah, hopefully. I didn't even look yet. Now let's see this one. <laughs> what are these specs? So these are big. These are ET20, 18 by 11 ET20. Ooh. Hmm. That's like what my, wait, that's what these that's are. That's the rare of your JC Coupe, right? That's actually what these are. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, these are the coupe wheels. Best way to get idea of fitment, just start throwing wheels at it. Oh man, that's bad. It's bad? Yeah, No? What do you mean we need a big spacer? Look at this, this looks what? sick. This is actually gonna look dope. Is the tire small? Same tire. This might be like the same fitment. Obviously we have an 18 by 11 on the rear, it's about to shrink it. The fronts, however, you need like, you really can't fit much. So I bet the fronts are like 18 by nine plus 30. The coupe, the coupe ain't getting the serves again. Those look fucking badass. Those look badass. Oh man. <laughs> that they looks, do look okay, cool. I lowered it like an inch. That looks sick. It makes the Supra look a lot more. Sporty. Sporty for sure. I ain't never seen serves on a Supra either. Yeah, You've never seen they them. Use, Cause they use the same two wheels on Supras. CCW Classics and Meisters. And what else? I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know. Those are the two most common, all right? Make Supers look different 2021. Make <laughs> Supers look different 2021. I mean, okay, I'm not going to lie. I really want TEs for it, and that's pretty common too, but that just hits different. Um, that's cool to see. That's actually really cool to see. With the white, let me know what you guys think. Sheesh. I mean, it's, it's really tall right now. I think it would need like a, a half inch drop. Oh, dude. Put it in the trunk. And it's in the trunk. <laughs> Oh, that looks so freaking cool. Should I retire these wheels on the drift car? <laughs> Scoop ain't getting those back. It's different. The only I like it. The only bad part about this is that this would be like my fourth car in Serb 1s. It's not even that like, it's not even like I'm a huge Serb 1 fan. It just, it just, they just keep coming. It really works. You know what it is? No. Weds were made for big body cars. Like, it's just a fact. Mm -hmm. And though the Super is extremely sporty, it's, it's a big, a big body, body car, so it actually really works. It works great. <laughs> it looks sick. I'm tempted to retire the coupe wheels and put them on here. That's another thing I need your opinion on today. I'm asking for a lot of opinions today. That's all right. What's the other opinion? Oh, the wheels. No, the, the whole engine bay thing. <laughs> oh, no. That opinion? What's the other opinion? You were going to say something. The wheels. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're so shot. Oh, my God. All right. The comments. I want to see a lot of comments in this video. Let me know what you guys think because that is, that is not a bad look. And honestly, it's just really refreshing to see this car in something different. I mean, if I take it apart, it's going to be sitting for the next four months. But at least it'll be sitting looking dope. You had the whole, these were on that, this whole season, new season, these and something on that. New, different. I hate that I completely understood what you just said because that was such a jump up. <laughs> it was a little, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, uh, yeah, picture that with the turbo brakes. Well, you know, like, like red turbo brakes on the white. Different. I can't turbo picture brakes. the brakes in my brain, in my head. Just picture Z32 brakes, all right? Okay, I like it. You like it, so thank you, yeah. That looks so good. Like, it still fit a 265, has a nice little aggressive look to it. I don't know. Because I could relip the front, so it's easy. Where's the front wheel? That, the front wheels will stick out three inches, but I could I could relip those easily. So. Okay. I think we have a game plan here. I, I like it. 
I like it, I'm a fan of it. There's gonna be a lot of comments, but I, won't, uh, I will read them, don't you worry. Or I know Ant will definitely read them, so. But we're gonna end it there before I do any more rambling on, so you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And Ant, goodbye.